As the war between Russia and Ukraine heats up, millions of Ukrainians are evacuating the war-torn country to Poland and other places in Western Europe in order to escape the violence, leaving many homeless as their cities and towns are destroyed in the conflict. However, there's another type of exodus happening just across the border in Russia and it's not the type of exodus you would think. Unlike the average Ukrainian fleeing combat in their country, Russian oligarchs are relocating themselves and their money to escape both the war and the international sanctions imposed on them. Though the international community has tried its best to pressure Putin to stop the war with Ukraine, the sanctions have done little to stop the Russian war machine. Due to the mute response, the nation started a bid to put pressure on Putin by sanctioning the ruling class of Russia, mainly the many Russian oligarchs who are connected to the Kremlin. But where are these powerful businessmen fleeing to, to save both themselves and their property? Before the war erupted in Eastern Europe, from February 1st to the 24th, 2022, a mass exodus of Russian billionaires left their homes for Western Europe, the primary destinations being England, France, Germany, and Switzerland. Private jets were flocking to the West. However, once the invasion was launched, Western countries closed their airspace to Russian planes, forcing the oligarchs to look for sanctuary elsewhere. Flights to the West plummeted. In just two days, from the 25th to the 27th of February, Britain and France went from 80 and 123 flights respectively to both being cancelled, while flights to Germany and Switzerland went down to one apiece from Germany's 80 and Switzerland's 118. Due to the close connection to the Kremlin, the Russian oligarchs have felt a serious attack on their assets by Western powers, bank account freezes, yacht impoundments, and property seizures. All these financial attacks are forcing many wealthy businessmen to flee Russia. The Russian Federation is expected to lose more than 15,000 millionaires in 2022, which is almost 15% of the country's millionaire population due to Putin's handling of both internal and external affairs. In comparison to Russia, Ukraine is expected to lose 2,800 millionaires after the invasion was launched, which is roughly 42% of its millionaire population. These large exoduses of the super-rich are a possible early sign for a decaying country, which the wealthy are able to realize sooner and leave before things get worse. The only logical choice now was for the oligarchs to flee east, mainly to countries in the Middle East and Central Asia, primarily those with close ties to Russia and a neutral stance on the war. Compared to the sharp downfall in flights to Western Europe, the Middle East and Central Asia saw a large uptick in flights from Russia. Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, and Turkey became favorite destinations for private jets, but one place in particular was a leading destination for Russian oligarchs, Dubai. The United Arab Emirates is a crown jewel for fleeing oligarchs as Dubai became the main hub of luxury and business for targeted Russians. Including the Russian oligarchs arriving, the UAE is expected to see 4,000 millionaires arriving in their country in 2022 a whopping 208% jump in the net inflow from 1300 in 2019, which makes this Middle Eastern city the winner of attracting the uber-rich to the country. Dubai has enabled Russians to continue their businesses with international corporations without the fears of foreign sanctions imposed upon them, while also being a refuge for private jets and yachts being stored away in the country. One cannot be surprised that Dubai is harboring the Russian super-rich from global sanctions. The city has been known to safeguard dirty money as Russians are transferring their money there in large quantities. The UAE has been criticized greatly for its neutral stance both on the war and in refusing to impose sanctions upon Russia or rebuffing pleas to join in with the rest of the world against the Kremlin. A reason for this non-committal stance against Putin is because Russia is part of OPEC Plus and that relationship has kept the Kremlin and other petroleum producing countries together even in the wake of the Ukrainian invasion, which has not changed any minds as of late, even if many of OPEC's Persian Gulf members are close U.S. allies. Besides the United Arab Emirates, Turkey became a haven for Russian oligarch yachts escaping seizures, thanks to its close proximity to Russia. Even though Turkey is still a NATO member, the country refused to impose sanctions, still maintains close ties with Putin, and quite interestingly sells weapons to Ukraine to use in the conflict. 
Turkey has been known to play both NATO and Russia against each other. As during the Cold War, Turkey has allowed NATO to place nuclear missiles in the country and now is very friendly with the Kremlin. But the geographic factor is not the only attractive benefit for oligarchs and their yachts. Turkey's main selling point is its citizenship by investment scheme, which gives a Turkish passport to anyone that invests at least $250,000 in real estate or $500,000 in government bonds, companies, investment funds, or deposited into Turkish bank accounts, which is mere pennies for men who own multiple yachts. Unlike nearby Cyprus, which was once a tax haven for Russians, has been cracking down on oligarchs who hold Cypriot citizenship. Other former Soviet countries became desired destinations for wealthy Russians as well. Countries like Azerbaijan and Kazakhstan also did not join the West in sanctioning Russia for their persecution of the war with Ukraine, which has allowed both countries to benefit from increased travel and business from the financial refugees. These two countries, both in immediate proximity to Russia, have similar cultures, languages, and easy access to business markets which is attractive to the Russian tycoons. Even the American-based consulting company McKinsey has relocated hundreds of its employees from Moscow to Kazakhstan in the wake of the invasion. But it is not just the Russian oligarchs who are fleeing from Russia. Many in the lower classes are choosing to quit the Russian state after the war commenced as well. Day workers have moved to Armenia, Georgia, and Turkey for affordable living with a similar culture to their home state. Even some northern European countries took in Russian lower classes such as Germany and Latvia. The major problem in confronting countries receiving these skilled transplants will be the rising competition in the job market. As war progresses and the number of people being displaced rises, tensions are increasing between citizens and those who are moving in. Many people fleeing Russia are skilled professionals who work in the IT world and are in high demand in developing countries. With both individuals and companies moving away from Russia, these countries worry about having sanctions imposed on them as well. One country in particular is struggling with the increasing amount of Russian nationals coming to their doorstep and this country is Israel. This trend first started after the annexation of Crimea by Russia in 2014 in part to evade US imposed sanctions. These Russian millionaires benefited in Israel thanks to a law exempting new immigrants from paying taxes on their income for the first 10 years, which unsurprisingly was used as a loophole for international money laundering schemes. These recent arrivals are forcing Israel to walk a diplomatic tightrope with both the West and Russia. Israel has announced its support for Kyiv but also has stayed away from criticism of the Russian president, even not joining in with the rest of the Western countries on imposing sanctions against Russia and her wealthy elite. This action has made Israel's allies suspicious of its true intentions, even receiving warnings from the US to stop its dealings with Russia. A possible reason for Israel's reluctance to take a strong stance against the Kremlin is that Russia still has a large military presence in Syria, just north of the Jewish state, which Putin has allowed Israel to launch attacks against the Lebanese terrorist group Hezbollah. Whatever the case may be, as the war in Ukraine continues, Israel might soon be forced to take a stronger stance against the Kremlin and rid itself of the Russian oligarchs. Putin's war in Ukraine has dramatically transformed Russia not just in the number of millionaires leaving the country, but also in its economy, population, and even its standing on the world stage. Though Russia's economy tanked at the start of their invasion of Ukraine, the ruble has rebounded and is currently stable. However, Russia's economy is being held together by the EU member states buying up its exported oil and gas. And if this ever changes, Russia has no other major product to rely on if the EU decides to buy any other country's natural gas. This is why Russia has been so aggressive in the last couple of decades in monopolizing all the natural gas shipments to the EU and other places. The mass exodus of the super rich from Russia would affect both Russia and the many countries that are receiving the oligarchs for years to come. As mentioned before, the wealthy leaving in droves is an early call sign of a decaying country, a country with nuclear capabilities. The world might have another Soviet Union breakup on its hands if Russia goes under in the coming years. If the mass droves of skilled professionals from Russia resettle permanently in the countries they move to, those developing countries could experience significant growth in their economies at the expense of Russia itself.